Hello Superuser! Today we're going to learn how to install and use the JW plugin for Finale. Now this is another Jerry Williams plugin and this actually allows you to code your own plugins to really customize Finale. Now you don't even need to know how to code to use this plugin, uh, but if you are interested in coding using this plugin, uh, I'll link in the description a video which I'm going to make in the future of how to get started coding in JW Lua. For now, all you need to know is how to download scripts to be able to run in Finale. So we're going to learn that as well as how to actually put these scripts into the plugin menu so you don't even need to worry about the code later on. So to start off, just go to the JW Lua website. This has pretty much everything you need to know about this plugin. Um, and so we're going to go start by downloading it. So we're going to click the download link for the beta versions. Um, this plugin is still in beta, so anything you do will be a beta version. Uh, this is will bring us to the productivity tip site, the same site that all the other JW plugins are in. And so in this time, we're going to go download a uh, 64-bit plugin for Mac. Uh, download it, install it like you would any other plugin. And again, if you don't know how to install plugins, I'll link to that in the description. So once you have it downloaded, go over to Finale and go to Plugins and then find where you installed it. I made a custom JW Lua folder for it, um, so that way I can have everything in one place. So open it up and this is what you're going to see. Uh, there's the three tabs, Explore, Manager, and Development. They each do different things. We're going to mainly be focused today on the Manager tab because this is going to tell us how to actually run the plugins. So before we actually deal with the plugin itself, we're going to need to download a script to use. Uh, for this, you can also get the go to the JW Lewis site because he has a bunch of sample scripts for you to use. We're going to click the Quick Script Samples uh, here and we're going to go to Change Hairpin Opening Size. What this does is it makes sure that all the hairpins have the exact same opening size because you might have noticed these smaller hairpins have a much smaller size than the bigger hairpins. So all I have to do is download this, move it to wherever you want. I have it right here in my JW Lua plugin folder, uh, but move it wherever you want, just download it. And then we're going to come over here to the Manager tab. Now here in the menu, we're going to hit New. And then we're going to go to find wherever we just installed the plugin. Um, for me, it's in this folder. And we're going to just select the plugin, hairpin opening size Lua. Open it up. It'll say Finale needs to be restarted because it does. Um, and you can see it's been added to the bottom of the list. Once you do this, just close it and then restart Finale. And after you do that, you'll notice up here that the plugin is actually labeled up here. And so that's how we're going to access the plugin. Now, just to see how this works, let's take a note. Oh, that's a really low note for Piccolo. And we're just going to make, I don't know, a big giant hairpin. That works. And then we're going to come up here to the plugin and run the plugin. And we see that it makes it smaller to match the other sizes of the smaller plugins. So that's it for today. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe such that you can stay up to date and learn how to be an extremely good super user in Finale.